Aloha, dear sweet family of light. It's me, Lisa Trenton. It's Brown. And it's been a while since I did a video. So I felt it was kind of time. Anytime I talk to you guys, there's a whole lot going on. And this time is no different. Except there's more going on. There's always more, isn't there? With awakening, ascension, remembering, all the galactic stuff. Um, alternate universes, multiple dimensions, um, everything in the waking world. This last month uh, was big for a lot of people uh, because um, it woke a lot of people up. Um, it got many off the fence. It got attention, which kind of is the point. That left many in a confused state, which also is the point, you know, because confusion wakes us up. It makes us start questioning things. It causes us uh, to look at everything. Um, it's very important, and we don't understand this. That's what's going on: is that in our confused state, um, things start to make more sense, but it's not what we thought it was. This journey doesn't look like anything we thought it would. The human aspect of us has an idea of what we want our life to be like. We work really, really, really hard to make it happen, to achieve things, to acquire things. And then when it's time to wake up, things start going in their own direction. Feelings start to surface uh, that we didn't know were there. We want more. Um, things don't make sense. The outside world definitely doesn't, and not that it ever did. Because as star beings, as elementals, as Lemurians, as all of these other things. We weren't meant to fit into a human world. We came here to experience our humanness. We came here to experience the human reality and then wake up and everything changes. Now, the more human we are, the more we try to hold on. And it's that holding on that causes us to go through the experience we call suffering. Our mentalities, our beliefs, our perceptions of what we thought made us happy, of thought, what we thought we were here for, completely skewed completely distorted. That kind of is the point. Those distortions are what we're here to clear within ourselves. Those frequencies that are out of tune, that have nothing to do with who we are. Who we are. Powerful beings of love. Who we are. Source, God, all of these things, Christed energy. And we're here to remember all of this. It comes from within us. It's not a thing that floats around out there anymore, as it once did. The hologram, ours. The illusions, all ours. Now, we are here to evolve. We are here to hold light. We are here to be in service. We are here to see our humanness. We are here to transcend all of that. We are here to assist others in remembering this too. We're here to come back to who we are, who we had forgotten. And it will not 
be anything that we thought. Now, judgment is a big one that we all suffer to along the way. Transcending judgment is a big deal. One, we worry about what others will think. And as we come to not care what everybody else thinks, we come to realize that we are here to share. We are here to open up fully. We are here to activate others. We are here to empower others. We are here to speak truth. We are here to be truth. We are here to shine our light, open portals, gateways, so that others can come through, can join us, can meet us, come be here with us too. This is a sacred journey. This is one where we emerge. This is one where we hold the light, don't compromise anymore. We are not weak. We are not victims. We don't need to survive. We don't have fear. We look at our own perceptions, our own beliefs. We use the outside world we use our exchanges with others to see what was hidden inside of us that we couldn't see. We step into the light. We step into our power. We become love again. Completely. No separation. No more lack. No more judgment. We don't care. We don't change who we are. We don't hide who we are. Full blown. This is us. It's beautiful. Now. So many are going through a lot. It is intense when there's a lot to clear fast. I went through this as well. I was told by my higher self aspect, which is just me, get your vibration up. Nothing else matters. Get your vibration up. I was shown to get a bunch of crystals, put them in the bed with me, um, cut everything out, let it all go. Focus. And in every moment, move into creation. Get myself out there. Share right from my heart, assist others, guide others, step into my way shower role, speak the crazy stuff. And yes, I was scared at that time too. But the words were, you don't get to be scared. You have a purpose. You have a mission. And you need to get over yourself. You need to step up. We do a lot of getting over ourselves along the way and because we forget. We forget why we're here. We think it's about us and for a while it is. We have to pull away. We have to focus on ourselves. We have to put ourselves first. We have to come to love ourselves so completely. We emit love. We are love. It's who we are. We don't care about titles. We don't care about identities. Those are human. We use them so that others can find us. We play with them a lot. Um, we change them in every moment because the realities here are not fixed. Our mind was. And as we let go of the need to hold on, we get to become very flexible. We get to move through realities a whole lot. It's kind of cool. It's a whole lot of fun. We get to embrace our creativity. We get to do what we came here for. But it does mean committing ourselves to something bigger. The whole picture. 
It, it means committing ourselves to transforming all into light. It means committing ourselves to ourself, to making ourselves first. It means building our power, letting go of victim mentality, letting go of fear. Walking in, I realized the other day that walking in faith meant walking in honor. Um, we don't shift down into lack. We don't lack honor. We don't lack integrity. We don't lack anything anymore. And faith is within ourself and how much we can hold those vibrations of absolutely everything. Honorable, love, beauty, magnificence, magic, masters, again, of all things energy, because we are energy, pure and simple. Many fear what others will think of them. I did it too. Many worry that those that are not quite conscious yet will judge them if we're speaking the crazy stuff or speaking about being multidimensional, not realizing that in my world, everybody's awake, but it wasn't always that way. I also had those perceptions. Um, that world out there is our perception. So you want to constantly uh, challenge your own mind, question why you believe that. For me, everybody's awake. Our job here is to speak out. Our job is to share. Our job is to create awareness. Our job is to reach all others who um, might still be confused and waking up and looking for information that you have. And so it's our job to shine as bright as we can, share as much as we can, and reach as many as we can. And dedicate everything we have to this. Um, because it's why we're here. We are the new earth grid work. We are the crystalline grid. We are the light pillars. We are the crystal grid keepers. We are star beings. We are galactics. We are all of these things. And these higher vibrations. We are streaming pure source light. The gamma and moon laser frequencies that are going um, all the time. We are walking through entire bandwidth now. It used to be that we would activate to a frequency or two or three or a bunch. But now our entire physical structure has just a multitude of bandwidth running through it all the time. Uh, we have to make sure that we get enough sleep. Uh, we are working a lot in the sleep state. We're clearing, we're activating, we're working together, we're doing all kinds of things. Uh, the physical transformation, when the light body kicks in, and when the crystalline light body kicks in, um, huge. And there are a lot of perceptions that many have lived by their entire life here. And they're starting to find that those things are no longer true. Mm, they're living by old belief systems, old things that they learned. And all that goes out the window. Kind of cool. We get to recreate according to who we already are. And when, the, when we restore back to our original template, everything changes. We go through gene recoding. We go through all kinds of cool things. And uh, that which is transpiring lately, um, lots of stuff going on with uh, walk-ins, with uh, souls. Uh, we just moved recently into the words were, and this was at me, um, by my higher self aspect that you are now a transfer station. Now back in May or June, we activated Earth 3, which was a holding station. Um, and now we are gearing up for um, consciously. Mm, I don't know how to explain this, and I'm probably not going to really even try. I'm just opening the door um, for our souls to 
energetically move from structure to structure. And I can see the crystalline structure is being upgraded so that um, we can move between them. And uh, I'll share more on that later because that's quite in-depth, if you will. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with physical realities changing in every moment. Um, you'll be in a room and everything will shift and move and things are different. Um, even what was bizarre a few years ago has gone further than that. The awareness that you could wake up in a completely different physical reality um, in a different physical body, in a completely different everything. Um, that's your interactions with others. Uh, I have been being prepared um, for the last year for certain things to occur. And they will occur when we hit that vibrational frequency and when we have upgraded and when we have stretched our mind to comprehend it and be open to it and ready for it because we cannot do anything that's going to put too much uh, shock value into our system or, or send us over the edge sanity wise um, and so many have uh, been questioned uh, about their sanity when in fact they were just doing this type of experience here it's just for there are a lot of distortions that we had and we have to work to the distortions that are within us um, we can't judge the distortions. That's kind of the point. Uh, we're here to purify. We're here to cleanse. We're here to work the distortions out. We're here to see them. We are to be conscious in every moment. We're not to fall back asleep. And as a human, we used to think uh, that we died and we went to heaven. And we were, and those in heaven, those were souls, those were ghosts. And then we wake up, become conscious, and we go through the ascension process. And then our bodies start evolving and, and turning into light. Coming alive in ways that I just cannot even begin to describe here. Um, it would take a whole lot to talk about that. Um, and what's really going on. Now... Now, going through this experience this year has changed everything because now as a human, we're shown um, we were the dead ones. Our bodies were asleep. Our bodies were dead. And now they're coming alive. It was backwards. So as a human, we thought death was the afterlife. But the afterlife now we're the alive ones. We're the ones that are vibrant. Our bodies are conscious again. They're living bioorganisms, and our cells breathe and our teeth breathe and everything bends and stretches. It's beyond bizarre. We were asleep, literally, in every way, shape, or form. Sometimes we feel like we are ghosts. Um, sometimes we are invisible. People can't see us. Um, it is bizarre on many days to walk in the physical world. Um, feels like you've been displaced on the wrong planet, um, and then things will shift. Um, weird is an understatement for our existences here. Multidimensional, multi universal. We've gone so far beyond just the typical dimensions, a uh, complete. Universes are open, and we actually have been playing in uh, the alternate universes uh, where you can actually watch different universes side by side running simultaneously, and you can see the doom and gloom of the lower realms, and you can see those participating in that. We've become the observers, the watchers. Um, we also can watch the higher realms, and we can watch those in those universes and the beauty and the light, we can watch a collapse occur and immediately watch an alternate reality occurring simultaneously with the most amazing things, which are the opposite, and it's really cool. 
sometimes we are ghosts. Sometimes we are not quite etherically here. Uh, but in addition to that, we are the alive ones. And the humans are the ones that are the zombies and completely asleep. Now, we were them at one point in time. And our job is to maintain the most expanded state of super consciousness. Get our light body frequencies up. Maintain, hold these spaces and allow all others that are ready to come through the vortexes, the portals, to come through with us. Um, we hold, we open the gateways, we open the doorways, we open the portals, we leave them open. Um, there are many portals that closed along the way where we have to get done with certain realities and, and we just, we shut them down. We have that choice now. We don't have to keep them open anymore. And where those who really want to hold on to the old ways, we, we honor that. Um, it's weird because we can't see the lower realms most of the time unless we're actually looking for it to see what's going on. It doesn't exist doesn't exist in our world and um, we don't have those experiences we don't have the things going on that the lower realms just using words here the old dimensions old earth other realities whatever you want to call them and it doesn't really matter old programs um it's just the way it is um, everybody has this choice but they have to choose to let go and many are not ready yet. They don't want to let go, not realizing that when all of that goes into collapse mode, that it takes them with it. Um, and what they're holding on to is keeping them from themselves, keeping them from remembering, keeping them from the bliss and the magic and the utter and complete love uh, that they are. And all that they came here to be and do is it's beautiful. So, judgment, big deal. Look at your world and see where you're judging. Look where you're holding back. Holding back a big one. Um, not allowing yourself to be fully who you are. Not expressing yourself. The perceptions of this journey, many created a belief system, and I went through it too, of what spiritual was. We created a mindset. There's no mindset to being spiritual. We're not being spiritual. We are spirit in physical form. We are soul. In physical form um, and some days we quite um, question whether we're really even in this physical form other days this physical form gets really heavy and it feels like our suits got lead in it and then the next moment a uh, frequency will activate and we start floating again it's kind of cool and gravity goes and the unified field when it kicks in everybody's connected up um, energetic communication words aren't really necessary they kind of are they get in the way mm. but open communication required in every moment so look at yourself look at your reality see what you're holding on to ask yourself the question what am I protecting myself from ask yourself the question what do I really want if you want to be free if you want to be happy you want to experience very complete love again. Let go of all the old stuff. See it for what it is. Don't hold on to it. Don't judge it. Nobody cares. And realize uh, that when you can be that fully, and those around you will be afforded the opportunity to do it too. Because you are the one that holds your reality in place. And everybody in it. It's all you. So, mahalo. I love you. And I know, I just kind of talk. But that's the way we go. And I um, haven't done a video for a while. Most important is to pay attention to your physical body. Honor your physical body. Get your sleep. The upgrades are huge. Let go of the labels. Let go of the identities to conditions or whatever it is. Um, open up. Allow yourself to feel fully. Um, 
and get busy. There are a lot of people still wanting to play and they're not ready to grow up yet. And a part of this process is growing up. A lot of this process, um, we go through birthing, rebirthing ourselves, and then learning how to walk again. And we're the baby, the bright-eyed, beautiful, in a very confused world that makes no sense. We go through inner child, clearing all that up. Then we move to the teenager, if you will, the rebellious one, the stomp our feet and, and resistance mode. And then it's time to go out in the world and grow up, and that's when we get scared. And I'm talking as a pure being. We have to go through this entire process of rebirthing ourselves. And it, many are finding themselves now at the time of it's time to grow up but they don't want to they just want to keep playing and we're supposed to grow up and play too um there are a lot that it's time to get into service um, but they're confused um mostly because they're worried about themselves or thinking about themselves and what they're here to do instead of focusing on that outside world and, and how they can make a difference and, and where they can open themselves up and share completely without any of the old mechanisms in place. And so we have to reverse everything. We have to look at what we're doing. Um, if you're holding on to judgment and you're not out there, and you're not putting yourself out there, then you're blocking yourself. You're not sharing. You're not fulfilling a purpose. You're not fulfilling a role. You're letting fear of not being good enough or whatever the case may be interfere with the process. So recognize your own judgment. And as my higher self said, get over it. Get over yourself. Get yourself out there. Start making a difference. Because that's what everybody is here for. And you can do it however you want to. You can do it online. You can go out in the world. You can volunteer. Um, but let go of your judgment of others. And um, focus on yourself. And get busy. We've got a lot of work to do, guys. I love you. And I will talk to you very soon.